is Teen Librarian Lacey. And this is Children's Librarian Lauren. And we're here today to show, bleh, start, a series of programs we like to call Crafting, Crafting Through, through the, the Decades! decades. <laughs> today we're going to show you guys a craft that was popular in the 1960s. And it is gum wrapper chains. Check that out. We're going to show you a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with them and how to make them. And we're going to demonstrate some library sleuthing tricks Ooh. and how to learn more about cool historical facts. Like, did you know the longest gum wrapper chain is 20 miles long? Wait, what? 20 mm -hmm. miles? Yes. You're serious? Uh-huh. This is a fact. Yes, it That's is. That's awesome. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, so stick around and I'll show you where I learned it. But first, what supplies will we need for these gum wrapper chains? Ooh, okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Drum roll, please. You will need gum, gum wrappers. That's it. That's all you need. Just some gum wrappers. Yeah, we got a bunch. Do you think we have enough, Lacey? I think so. All right. <laughs> okay, let's do this. All right, friends. Here's the scoop. We're going to fold paper rectangles into links to make our chains. How do we do that, you might ask? Well, Miss Lacey and I, we did some research and we're very excited to show you. The basic technique I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna use a really big rectangular piece of paper just because it shows up better on camera. But if you guys happen to find any gum that comes in a wrapper this big, please let us know because I would be very excited to see that. Okay, so basic technique, here we go. The wrapper that we're going to work with is exactly double the size of your average gum wrapper, but the steps are the same. First, we are going to fold our wrapper in half. We're gonna fold it the long way in half. Second, we're going to fold it in half again. And then we're gonna fold it in half a third time. So for those of you at home keeping track, that was folding it in half the long way, one, two, three times. Next, we are going to take it and make a V, folding it in half again the other direction. Cute little V. Now we want to take each end of our V and fold it back into the middle of our V, so it touches the middle of our V. Once we do that, we're going to fold that V back up again and get the cutest little bunny ear loops. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. Your link is now complete. In order to put your links together, you have a bunch of them that are made. You wanna open up those bunny ear loops just a little and then slide one set of bunny ear loops in through the other one. This is indeed the trickiest part. Nice. So you get one link connected and then you go and you grab another one and you just wanna keep going. Pick a side and just keep going. Pretty soon. Ta-da! You're gonna have a bunch of links and then you put them together and you get a whole chain. Yay! So we just learned the basics of how to fold the gum wrapper chain. Um, we thought we would now introduce some of the pros um, we're very, very expert at folding gum wrapper chains. And then some other things that we came across when we were doing our research. First of all, Ms. Lacey, where did we do research here in the library? Which section did we go to? The fiction section. No! Not the fiction section. Are where did sure? we go? Hmm, did we go to the biography section? Ooh, the biographies are in the... <gasps> Nonfiction section. Ding, 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 ding. We went to the nonfiction section. Yeah. We looked up gum wrappers mm -hmm. and we went to the nonfiction section. And we found a whole bunch of stuff. And actually we found stuff in a variety of places in the nonfiction section. Yes. So it was good that we used the catalog to look it up. One of the coolest books that we found was right in the beginning of the nonfiction section. Guinness Book of World Records. Maybe you guys have seen this before. <laughs> it is a book, real facts. They have people that prove these things who has who is the tallest, the longest, the furriest, the fluffiest. Mm -hmm. And we found out who made the world's longest gum wrapper chain. And we talked about it a little bit before. It was this fantastic guy. He actually devoted a whole part of his house. He has a whole room in his house that he uses just to fold gum wrapper chains. He's mm -hmm. had some help. This 
gum wrapper chain is 20.22 miles long, and mm -hmm. he actually used only Wrigley gum wrappers for it, right? Oh, wow, yes he did. Yeah, so we learned a little bit about that and other really cool um, stuff in this awesome book, Guinness Book of World Records. So if you go to that section, you'll find other books that are like world record kind of books. There's mm -hmm. stuff about sports and animals in there. I found a book in okay. a completely different section. Yes, tell me. Whoa, this is Urban Street Art. It was in the Arts and Crafts section, and it mm -hmm. popped up in my search because people have taken gum wrappers and candy wrappers and created like community art projects with them. Oh, that's they've, nice. Yeah, they've made chains and like wrapped them around trees. Mm. They've hung things like Easter eggs and teacups and stuff from them. So they've taken the wrappers and kind of turned it into a community art project. Oh, and that was great. in this book I found in a different section that's in cool. the nonfiction area. Yes. You found one other really cool thing, Yes, right? and I found, does it really take seven years to digest swallowed bubble gum? Yes, and I have been wondering this. Yes. I was always told this when I was younger. Did we find out the answer? We did. Did you read this book? And what's the answer? Well, I'm not gonna tell no, you. No, you're gonna yes. make me read it. No. Oh, no. So why don't you tell us, maybe, uh -huh. in the comments, what you think the answer is. Do you think it really takes seven years to digest gum if you swallow it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid. Don't <laughs> swallow gum. Yeah. I'm not even gonna try. This okay. is not a science experiment. Mm -mm. No. 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 Okay. Should we get back to the crafting? Yes. Let's Are do we it. ready to make actual gum wrapper yes. chains? Yes, We're yes, ready? Yes. All right. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. So you've mastered the basics. Now you're ready for the next level of gum wrapper folding. So you're going to fold your gum wrapper in half in the length ways. And now you're going to open it back up and fold it in towards the center. And do that on both sides. And this is gonna get rid of those teeth and make it really smooth. Perfect. Now we're gonna fold it in half again, lengthways, and one more time. This is gonna get really hard. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna fold it in half. Perfect. Now we're gonna open that guy back up and fold those ends in towards the center. All right, and now we're gonna fold it one more time into those bunny ears, but this time they're gonna be cute little baby bunny ears. And now when you've got a couple of lengths, you're gonna do the same thing but this time it's gonna be just that much harder. <laughs> so you're gonna take your bunny ears and you're gonna put them through your other bunny ears. Yes! Yay! Excellent! <laughs> She's got a chain. Perfect, and then what else can you do with this? You can make a cool bracelet, what? That's amazing. Or you can also make some earrings. What? And if you don't have pierced ears, you can make it into a keychain if you want. Or really, you can do anything with this. Oh, yeah. And then also, somebody made a very big dress with their gum wrapper chains. Can you imagine making a dress out of gum wrapper chains? Hey friends, so I'm going to show you how to find all that cool information about gum wrapper chains and gum wrappers on our website at library.loudon.gov. So here is our homepage and there's a few different ways to get to Scholastic Go and I'm going to show you both of those ways. So first let's go to the children's page. You'll see here it's highlighted in purple. So let's go ahead and click on there. Excellent. And now if we scroll all the way down, we'll get to the databases and homeschool resources. And let's see if we can find it here. It's in alphabetical order. So Scholastic Go is an S, so here it is. We'll click on there. And then we're gonna click on this first hyperlink text. And that's gonna take us to Scholastic Go. So that's for the children's page. Let's go ahead and do the teens page now. So here is the teens page. It's in green. Let's click on there. 
And same thing, we're gonna scroll all the way down to our databases. And we've got Scholastica right here. We'll click on there. And now let's click on our hyperlink text. That's gonna take us to our database. All right. And now all of these databases, they need access with your library card. So you can either talk to your mom or dad or a parent or guardian, find out your library card number, or if you're super awesome like me, you know your library card number. And then you're gonna do your pin, which is your six digit birthday. And then you log in. And let's go ahead and start. So we're gonna look up, how about some chewing gum? So we've got up here articles, images, websites, <laughs> stain removal treatments. <laughs> and you can scroll down here. And the cool thing about Scholastic Go is that it'll tell you the reading level. So we've got yellow for grades five and under, green for five to eight, blue for eight to 12, and if you're grade 11 or up, that's level four, but you're welcome to read any level you want, really. So let's go and find one here. How about, let's see, ooh, peppermint. Hmm. How about, let's just go to this first one here, chewing gum. And we've got our article here that tells us all about chewing gum. Okay, so we found this article here on chewing gum, and we can scroll all the way down, and it tells us here also how to cite this article. We've got MLA, Chicago, or APA, so if you're doing research for school, you can copy this and put it on your work cited page. And now let's say maybe you're a little tired or you really love audiobooks. Instead of reading this article, you can turn the read aloud on. And it can read for you. Chewing gum, a sweetened, flavored mixture of tickle and other natural gums used for chewing. From early times, man has enjoyed chewing on various gummy substances. Yeah. So that is Scholastic Go, one of the many databases that we have available to you for free. So come into the library anytime, or you can use this database online from home. And you can check out some more of our library resources on library.loudon.gov. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Liesl, for hand modeling. Aren't her hands great?